I first heard about JAL's Southeast Asia Study Abroad program through my community at the Asian Pacific American Student Affairs Cultural Center. I was intrigued by a program that focused on bringing marginalized student groups to often unexplored developing countries. I wanted to learn more about my heritage and race, and I believed I could do so through a program that highlighted regions interrepresented in my own community here in Tucson. My initial thoughts about this program were complete excitement mixed with vague uncertainty. I was fully committed to plunging myself into this new experience, but I was definitely unsure of what to expect. The little fear I did have was mostly attributed to maintaining good health. Initially, however, I couldn't help but look forward to that first day of travel. I was more than ready to get my first glimpse of Southeast Asia. And I absolutely loved it all. From the locals, to the fresh fruits, to the busy traffic-filled streets, there was not a moment of each place that I didn't enjoy taking in. My favorite places were Luang Prabang in Laos and Chiang Mai in Thailand. In Laos, I especially loved the Kuang Si Falls. They were magical and so fairy tale like That day at the falls really helped me find an inner peace. In Thailand, of course the Elephant Jungle Sanctuary, as well as my day trip up Doi Inthanon, the highest peak in Thailand, were both incredibly beautiful and rejuvenating. Getting connected with nature was something I did not expect, but was pleasantly surprised to experience from this trip. Later in the trip, we visited the University of Arizona microcampus in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. Connecting with the AUPP students was a very rewarding experience for me. For one, they provided a lot of insight regarding their lifestyles in Cambodia, what they were studying in school, and their future academic plans. They were so kind and helpful, and it was so much fun to teach them more about my experience at the University of Arizona back home. I was able to teach a few of them the wildcat symbol and what it meant to bear down. I also learned about the relationship between Southeast Asia and the U.S. from a new perspective, one that was raw and impartial. I learned much more about this relationship than I ever have in any American school, and I discovered a lot of dark and unpleasant secrets. The U.S. had a role in much of the terror that existed here just a few decades ago. The mass destruction from Agent Orange in Vietnam, the secret war in Laos that continues to affect their economy today, the genocide in Cambodia that brutally killed millions. There is so much history to be told. This experience has been both rewarding and challenging in many ways. I believe it will contribute to my future career path by encouraging me to be culturally competent in the diverse world. Studying abroad itself provides an advantage in any professional setting, whether it is a bullet point on a resume or a more competitive and knowledgeable job applicant. Furthermore, I believe this trip has already contributed to my future career path by allowing me to explore global opportunities to study and reach my full potential as a UA student, global citizen, and Asian American. Ultimately, I believe all eligible students, staff, and faculty should be a part of a global experiential learning program while at the University of Arizona. It is one of the most accessible ways to learn about more diverse global perspectives, experience lesser traveled regions of the world, and connect with marginalized populations, both from the Tucson community and various global areas. Every person who attends a gel experience shapes it for those participating, whether through discussions or interactions. I would love to see GEL continue to grow with each new pool of students who choose to participate and forge the diverse, culturally aware space it strives to provide.